hi guys welcome to my channel um i hope you guys are all doing well with corona and the lockdowns and the stay-at-home orders and the masks and the, it's a lot i know but i'm hoping you and your loved ones are safe and i'm hoping that this will pass soon so i promised you guys i was going to do a video about olaplex um and i'll be talking in general about olaplex but more specifically i'll be talking about olaplex number three now what is olaplex it's unfortunately an added layer to all the things you've probably been doing with your hair journey so we know that we have the moisture we have the protein we have nutrition which is in terms of oils and all the ayurvedic products that you use and so on um, and now this is something new not really new it's been around for a while but it's a new product under that category and that is called bond rebuilders now olaplex um, is a bond rebuilder so what happens when you put a relaxer or a hair dye or when you bleach your hair is that you're breaking down the disulfide bonds it's a lot of chemistry but to put it simply your hair is made up of proteins and those proteins are held together by bonds and those bonds are called disulfide bonds now anytime you relax your hair or you dye your hair or you do any kind of heat or something that destroys those bonds your hair gets weaker and putting in bond fillers or multipliers as they call them helps to strengthen your hair after or sometimes prepare it for a chemical process so what is olaplex now like i said i'll be talking more about olaplex number three which is what i'm using and as the name implies, they have a lot of products. So there's the number one, number two, number three, and so on. They have a shampoo, they have a conditioner, they have a leave-in treatment. But the main bond multipliers are one, two, and three. Now, the chemical ingredient is a patent by the two scientists that made it. If I can find their names, I'll put it somewhere. Um, but the chemical ingredient is called bisaminopropyl diglycol demaliate. So what this chemical compound does is that when you relax your hair, it goes in and fills in those disulfide bonds to strengthen the hair after a relaxer process or sometimes to strengthen it before a relaxer or dye or whatever process you're going to do. So how do you use it? Number one and two is used in the salon. Um, they recommend that you do number one and two and then maintain those bonds with number three. They say, now these are the, the people who found this compound, they say that it's permanent. In other words, when you use it, it keeps those bonds in place until your next relaxer process. So if it's permanent, it should stay there. So it doesn't. So in my opinion, it's semi-permanent. Okay. Now, um, so if you're using this, the question then is, do I need a protein treatment? Yes, you do, because although this repairs the bonds in between the proteins, it doesn't really fortify the proteins themselves, which we all know is made up of keratin. So if you use like a hard protein or moderate protein or mild protein, this is just something as an adjunct. It's just something you add on to what you already do. Um, who, so who should use this product? Now, if you're natural, if you have no heat, no chemicals, nothing at all in your hair, you probably don't need it because your bonds are still intact. Um, and even if you do, maybe not as much as someone who is chemically treated, simply because of the wear and tear of combing, that may have you know, destroyed some bonds, but you really don't need it as much. But I'm Texlax. I'll bet a little more Texlax than I usually was, so I need something to strengthen my hair. How do you use it? Like I said, you can use it before a chemical process, um, especially if you're going to be bleaching your hair. Sometimes you mix it in and so on, but that's for number one and two. For number three, you can use it on wet or dry hair. Um, some people use it right after a chemical process. Some people use it as part of their weekly regimen. Um, the way I use it is that I use it as part of my weekly regimen. The reason I do this is Olaplex can be very drying. As you imagine, when you strengthen those bonds, the proteins are, you know, at the top of their game and the hair can feel really dry and stiff. So I kind of like to put in a lot of moisture back in my hair when I use it. So personally, I've been using it twice a month. 
so I it's recommended to use it on clean hair even if it's dry hair wet hair it doesn't matter as long as your hair is clean that way you get the most benefit so what I do um, is I shampoo my hair with a sulfate free shampoo just once and then I put it in my hair and I kind of coat it um, and then I put a shower cap and I leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes which is the recommended time however some people can leave it overnight now it's recommended that after you put this in your hair you should shampoo and continue your regimen as needed I on the other hand do it a little different I don't have a lot of time in my hands and I didn't find the treatment to be very drying or you know it just for me I felt I didn't need the shampoo so I shampoo my hair I put it on I'll rinse it off and then I'll dip condition and I'll rinse that off and then I'll continue with my day now I don't know if I'm doing a lot of damage to my hair so far my hair has been doing great so I have no complaints about using it you know the way I use it but if you're scared please shampoo or whatever do it on clean hair then shampoo it off and continue with your regimen at least the first time just to be safe until you figure out what your hair likes and doesn't like about this product now like I said it's very drying so you have to use a really nice moisturizing um, treatment after a moisturizing deep conditioner and then you style as usual um, how did it feel in my hair I'll be very honest with you I didn't notice a lot of difference I did notice when I put it on it was very easy to comb through my hair it was very detangled um, it felt like the cuticle was a little smoother and my hair felt it felt firm it felt I don't know how to explain it felt strengthened that's the word I would use it didn't feel dry or hard or soft it just felt strengthened when I rinsed it off not a big difference to be honest I felt a lot more when I used the effigy two-step or even the two-minute reconstructor you tell right away something happened with this it was very subtle in fact I thought it didn't do anything however after using it a few times I think I've used it a total of four times now and this is how much I have left I don't know if you guys can see this is how much I have left I've used it a total of four times and I, I can I can tell there's a difference in my hair I can now there's a few people on here on YouTube that have used it I Alicia uses it the CGT uses it Brianna Roche uses it and there's a whole lot more if you Google it, it was a thing for a while and I was skeptical to get on because I was like maybe it's just another fad um, however it's been doing very well and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out for a year and if it helps me attain my goal length and you know retain my strength and my fullness and thickness and less breakage it's gonna be a staple of mine in terms of price it's a little pricey for this tiny little 100 ml bottle which is like three fluid 3.3 fluid ounces it's $28 or upwards depending on where you buy it so yeah that may not be the best the cheapest product on the market however it's been my hair has been doing very well I have less split ends less breakage it just feels nicer and I've also noticed that I need less protein treatments I don't know why but I need less um, so that's pretty much about Olaplex number three if you have any questions um, you can leave it down in the description box below I'll do my best to respond um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Um, until that time, please take care of yourselves. Bye, plums.